Don't you die on me, damn it! He be dropping! Intubate. Now! Cardiac arrest, he's in BFIB! Clear! No response. Hit him again! Clear! How's he doing? Well, he's stabilized. But it took too long. He's in a coma. What about him? Yeah, uh, took some shrapnel to the head. V has come to. V has come to. A quiz man.
A kuj sme? Can you hear me? Are you having difficulty speaking? Can you move your head? Just nod if you can hear me. Look up, please. Very good. Please try to relax. There is plenty of time. I need to tell you something. Please listen and try not to panic. You've been in a coma for quite some time. Yes, yes, I know. You would like to know how long. I'm afraid it's been nine years. Damn it! Come down! Try not to panic! Try not to panic! No. You'll be alright. How do you feel? It's been one week since you came too. Now, let's try getting you out of that bed. Nurse. Don't worry. You've lost some strength, but we've been maintaining your muscle mass through massages. CPM therapy and EMS. Now, I need to explain something to you, but you mustn't be alive. Nine years ago, you were injured in an explosion. Upon examination, we discovered 108 foreign bodies embedded within you. In addition to shrapnel, we also found fragments of human bone and human teeth. Most of it was removed, but some of the fragments still remain. They are located near your heart and in your skull. The fragments are lodged deep within your cerebral cortex. We couldn't give you an MRI, the metal you see. But even if we were to extract it, you would most likely suffer a brain hemorrhage. Mental and physical impairment are unavoidable. However, your current status is not life-threatening. One more thing. This X-ray is on your upper body. You better look now. Best to understand your situation sooner than later. I know it's difficult, but please look down. It's best to see with your own eyes. Be brave.
Κάποιος ήδη γνωρίζει ότι έχει ξυπνήσει. Ότι αν τρέχει μεγάλο κίνημα, πρέπει να ενεργήσουμε άμεσα. Προετοιμάστε τον μια εγχείρηση. Δεν το πιστεύω. It's true. There are those who wish you would never wake up. You should be dead, but you are not. The wheels are in motion. Your enemies are everywhere. We must alter your appearance immediately. Otherwise, I fear you won't leave this place alive. It's a wide open world out there, so there's something we need to take care of first. This is you, as you've lived until this day. I'm going to change your appearance. We have no other choice. Very good. Now, let's remove these bandages. Hmm, your face has healed nicely. To tell you the truth, these bandages were more for your protection. To hide you from those who want you dead. As of today, your name is Ahab. Forget everything. Your name, your past. Everything feels all right. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, have time to go. What, what, what happened to the woman? The woman? I... We gave her a light. She took the short way down. Who are you? Who am I? You're talking to yourself. Been watching over you for nine years. You can call me Ismail. What the hell is going on? Well, the good news is, here in the land of the living. Bad news? Oh, what wants you to do? <laughs> on your feet, soldier. The whole place is coming down. <sighs> Need a little pick-me-up? Okay. Here. No. Nothing like a little digoxin to get you back in the game. Come on! Get in! This way, boss. Hurry. Use that bike. It's tuned up and ready to go. I'll handle the rest. Here. That's your name as of today. You best change your face, too. Now this one, he'll take your place. From here on, he's Snake. He believes it, too. My very own Phantom, huh? 
Boss, the whole world wants your head. Don't worry. He can handle it. Move now. Quickly. Aren't you forgetting something? Again. Right. I'm Big Boss, 
And you are too. No. He's the two of us together. Where we are today, we built it. This story, this legend, it's ours. We can change the world and with it the future. I am you and you are me. Carry that with you wherever you go. Thank you, my friend. From here on out, you're a big boss.
What was it all for? If the boss has some plan, what is it? The real big boss is working separately from us to create his new nation. New nation? A military nation above and apart from all. The true outer heaven. Something created to maintain world balance. Independent of the struggles for supremacy, for personal profit, the cycles of revenge between countries. It'll be an army, all right. But more. Big Boss is building a nation. But until it's complete, we support the other Big Boss. The Phantom carries on his legend, his meme. That is Big Boss's plan. So that's the way it is. Nine years ago, I thought everything had been taken from me. But now I really have lost it all. The boss, and the future we were building together. One day, the age of Big Boss's sons will arrive. They'll likely want to settle the score with him. We have to shape that age. We'll each have roles to play. Building the foundation for a revolution led by both big bosses, the true one, and the Phantom. No. Big Boss can go to hell. I'll make the Phantom and his son stronger to send him there. For that, I'll keep playing my role. <laughs> you know... Sooner or later, there will be only one boss. There's only room. For one boss. His sons are fated to face each other someday, too. If the day ever comes that you go back to Cypher, I'll aid the other son. And then you and I will be enemies, too. One of us will have to kill the other. Fine by me. I'll be ready for the new age. Until then. We'd better get used to coexisting.